Hey everyone, Magic Flying Potato here. Hope you're doing well. And uh, so I'm here in Grounded, and with the new update came what they call Photo Mode. So I'm going to go ahead and go over that just briefly. Um, and I, just to let you know up front, I am not a photo photography expert. So there's a setting in there called Aperture, which uh, play around with it. At first, it really didn't do much. Um, so I had to go and read about it a little bit. And what it does in photography is it adjusts light levels depending on the iris of being uh, small or large. And it also affects how the depth of field um, is, is viewed if um, the object up front is focused and you want to blur the background some. That's kind of what it's used for. Again, not an expert on this. So we'll go ahead and go in here and take a look at it. And uh, I'll just go over the what all the settings are uh so first of all to get to photo mode hit p as in papa on your keyboard and then uh so you get the tab for photo settings you can switch to uh free cam t to take the photo f to toggle the hud uh b for the photo archive and escape is back uh, if you want to move around click your um right mouse button and uh, you can spin around um, right or left mouse button. Uh, the, the mouse wheel zooms in and out. So depending on what you want a picture of or how much or how little, you can zoom pretty far out. Oh, and it then kind of snaps in depending on, I guess, what we're looking at here. So... So again, we'll go ahead and get into the uh, the photo settings right here. And right here is all the different settings of getting your, your picture ready to go. Uh, so you have the option of showing the teen or hiding the teen. Let me zoom back in because uh, can't see what I just did there. So we got we got a little player right there. So we're going to go ahead, hide our teen. So takes takes your player out of the photo altogether say you didn't want a, a picture with the teen in it uh take hit that and hide the teen or go ahead and we'll bring her back into the game uh second one is poses you got different poses you got the air guitar you got the thumbs up you got the wave here the head bang laughing Clouding and pointing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, whatever, whatever option you want. Oh, okay, so right here it shows the different poses that you could do for the air guitar, or I guess any of these. Thumbs up. depending on where you want your character to be at in a certain pose, you just move that the scrub pose timeline. Do, 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 do. All right, uh, so we're playing around with that. Go back to, I'll go ahead and just choose none. All right, so now you have your, your camera options here. Your field of view is... Again, same as in game, it's it's the area that you're able to view. Uh, this is like 20 degrees, and it goes all the way up to 115 degrees. So that's the angle of view. Uh, default starts at 90, so whatever whatever field of view you want. Again, you could I could pull way back on it as well and get a. Uh, so we'll check out this field of view. So this is. This is 20. Default is 90 right here. And we'll pull out to 115. You definitely see a lot more in, in the 115 because it widens the angles. Zoom back into our player. Okay, so this is where the photography comes into play with your aperture and your focus distance. So when you first start playing with this, I, it took me a while because I I sit here and made the adjustments and I'm like this this aperture really doesn't do anything that I could see 
when I'm doing it. Um, probably also depends on your video card and what settings you're running it on. Probably makes a bigger difference as well. But where you really start to see the effect of this is when you take your focus distance down so that one percent you see a lot of things everything is blurred not a lot of things everything is blurred and as you bring it back up the blur kind of disappears right about i would say at six to ten percent it comes pretty clear again uh but this is where you could play with how close you are to your character and your aperture setting. So we'll go ahead and kind of get in closer on our character. Go to 30%. And now I'm going to slide this down. And this is very... Okay, so when I've been doing this earlier... Okay, here we go. It's kind of... You really don't see much difference at first. Uh, so it start, it default is 2.8 right there so everything looks you know pretty clear and stuff at the 30 percent focus distance but if i drop it down you'll start to see the background blurring some not much so let's see right there compared to this to this you see the blur going on so that's kind of what this aperture is doing is blurring out the background uh so the the closer you kind of focus your focus distance from what I'm seeing, uh, the, the closer my focus is on what's in front of me. If I change this aperture now, you could just blur the background and make your character kind of pop from the background. If that makes any sense. Again, I'm not good with photography and... Uh, just trying to figure this one out still. But from what I can see, it really doesn't have much effect until you get, you know, down in the lower focus distance where you could actually really start playing around with what is going on in the background with your character and stuff like that. So we'll just go ahead and go back to 100%. As you see sliding around really, really makes... I'm not seeing any difference on my end. We'll, we'll move on. <laughs> We'll go ahead and go to camera tilt. So this tilts your camera back and forth. So if you want a sideways effect, depending, I guess, what you're looking at. That's what that does. Uh, vignette. So this, this, this takes the, the, uh, the framing of the, of the picture and darkens it into a circle. So at 0%, um, you don't have any. And then as you... Close in and you can see the corners of the screen starting to get darker. And at 100%, it's, it's not like dark, dark, but it's the outsides of the screen have gotten darker. Uh, I think the default was at 50%. Filters, uh, just like taking pictures on, a, on your phone or something like that. You got your different colors, black and white. Science Marinade. Doom and Gloom, Two Step Retro, and the Billy Hog Apocalypse. Go ahead, zoom out and see what all this looks like. Go back through. So yeah, you can play around with the different uh, color modes in, in the game. Uh, film Grain, this adds a graininess to... Uh, the picture that you're going to take, uh, it starts off at zero. So let me zoom back in because you could definitely see it better when it's closer. Okay, so clear screen. You start adding the film grade in, which adds the graininess. Makes sense, film grade. And right there, you do have some graininess going on. Again, hard to see probably through this video. But as you play with it, you can see the, the, um, the, uh, the change in it. And I forgot the filter blend. Which, right here, the filter blend. Uh, so you, you set up your filter. We'll go with the Billy Hogg Apocalypse. And the filter blend lets you adjust 
just how harsh that filter will look from 0%, which is pretty much none. Normal setting, you don't have the filter on. And just as you bump it, you, you start to see the filter starting to take effect all the way up to 100%. And that is what 100% of the filter effect is for the filter blend. Let's turn this off. So the chromatic aberration. <laughs> Horrible with these words. So this adds that 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 it, it separates the 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 blue, red, green color spectrum. If you look up here, you can see it, it how what it does up here. Uh, come back out. Go back in. So yeah, it, it, it separates the red, blue, greens, yellows, all those colors kind of just offsets them. So I guess if you're playing with the... Go back to the Billy Hog. Let's go down to 50%. We'll see what the... Definitely can see a bit more of an effect by doing it on one of the, the filters. Just adds the blurred effect. Again, aperture really isn't making much of a difference from what I am seeing. So let's go back to none. Get rid of that. And then once you got all your settings set up, you can go ahead and don't, there's also factory recess. So if you just want to start all over again, just hit X and that will take all your settings back to normal. Just like that. And then uh, once, you, once you get everything set up to the type of picture you want to take, you just go over here and you hit T to take the photo. Bam, it's taken. Uh, you could also look at your, your photo archive. Which, wherever it is saved on your PC, mine is saved to uh, pictures, saved pictures, and grounded. So it's under that folder in the main drive. Yours might be going somewhere else. Uh, I'm not sure if you could change the location of that right now. Uh, toggle the, the, the HUD. Takes everything off the screen so when you do take the picture, you don't have everything underneath and all that stuff going on. It's just a clean picture of what you're looking at. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this helps. Uh, hopefully this explains a little bit on how to do it and 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 where your picture goes when you do save it. Um, again, sorry about not really being too clear about the aperture setting and what it really does. But, uh, hey, if you guys have any comments, questions, or anything about this video right here, go ahead and leave them below. And once again, you guys have a great time out there exploring the backyard with this new update. And I am Magic Flying Potato, and I am out.